Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and I'm here in beautiful Atlantic City right in front of Resorts Hotel and Casino. They're gracious enough to put me up for a couple of nights here right before Christmas. Uh, actually, they're very gracious lately. They're giving me a bottle of vodka, a show tonight, some money to play with in the casino. It's not just me, they're pretty liberal with their comps right now here in Atlantic City, so make sure you check that out. Uh, this is one of the last holiday videos I'll be doing from Atlantic City. I'm heading over to Boardwalk Hall. They do something called the Festival of Trees, where they decorate all these Christmas trees, and then they're auctioned off with, of course, their ornaments, which are pretty valuable, I guess, uh, to whoever is the highest bidder. All the money they make goes to a children's uh, charity. I'll leave uh, information about that charity in the description below. Uh, later tonight, I'm going to a show here at Resorts, and that'll be later in this video, called The Modern Gentleman. I think they're doing a lot of Christmas stuff, so uh, stay tuned for that on this video as well. Let's head on over to Boardwalk Hall and see what those Christmas trees look like, shall we? Well, here we are, Jim Wheel in Boardwalk Hall. Let's go inside and see what these Christmas trees look like. Each Christmas tree has a sign posted in front of it of the business that's sponsoring that particular tree. Some of them are very well themed to the business. Uh, some of them are quite funny. Some of them are more traditional. I think what I'll do is I'll show you the sign, which will give you a hint to the business, and then I'll show you their tree. And if you see anything that you really like, leave a comment below. I'm not going to make this a contest or anything, but I'd like to hear feedback from you guys, which trees you liked and which ones perhaps you didn't. And of course, I'll give you some of my opinions as we move along. The signs just have a name of a business. It would be nice if they had a little summary of what the business was all about. This way you might appreciate the trees a little more. For example, this tree is really thought of outside the box. It's, it's like a wooden helix or a DNA structure uh, with a tape measure. I really don't know what it all means, but again, it would be nice if I knew what the business was. Here's our first hotel and casino tree from the Golden Nugget. If I remember correctly, all of the hotels and casinos are represented with a tree here. I'd love to purchase some of these hard rock ornaments. I don't see them in the hotel or casino. Maybe they're available online, I'm not sure, but I love those guitars. And well, they have quite a few interesting things on here. Looks like Bally's is doing the good old Monopoly theme. I'd love to do a uh, Atlantic City slash Las Vegas themed tree at home with all these uh, nice ornaments they have here. I just don't know where to get them. Maybe that's the idea. You're supposed to bid on these trees so you can get those ornaments. I think I understand it now, but uh, a Caesar's a little more traditional route, but they have that nice golden laurel uh, garland going around the tree to add to their theme.
The Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference has a nice basketball hoop with a nice ball return that I'm surprised no one's tripped over yet. Here's a tree from Ducktown Tavern and Liquors. Uh, they're in one or two of my videos already, but I need to spend more time in the Ducktown neighborhood, which surrounds the Tropicana. I love the painted shells, and again, I really want some of these. Coca-Cola has a really nice display, but of course their pockets go a lot deeper than most of the uh, businesses represented here, including the hotels and casinos. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates, which is the charity that's running this entire event. I just love this tree. It's very traditional, very colorful. It's got beads for garland. I love New Orleans, so I like beads for garland as well. This is just one of my favorite trees here. Hey guys, don't forget when we're done looking at these trees, these beautiful trees, we're going to head back to resorts who uh, gave me a couple of tickets to see the Modern Gentleman Show. Uh, it's a really good show and it's at the uh, Superstar Theater. We're going to check that out after this. This video is going to run a little longer than usual, but hey, it's the holidays. Enjoy. I'm really appreciating all these trees, and it got me thinking I would love to sponsor a tree, a New York, a Jeff from New York tree. It would have all the uh, mascots as decorations and, well, something to think about in the future. Speaking of the New York channel, if you're enjoying this uh, video, why not subscribe to the New York channel? It really does help the channel out. And I uh, just want to say that if you give it a thumbs up, well, you might get your Christmas wish. So give it a thumbs up at the same time. The trees seem to be in some kind of a group. They are organized like we saw all the casino trees together. This area that we're in now seems to support as far as business wise, the hotels and casinos with regards to elevator service and carpentry and all the things that make the hotels and casinos run. And of course, all the unions here in Atlantic City have their area of Christmas trees as well. They're uh, representing all the workers here in this wonderful, beautiful city. Atlantic City first responders also well represented here, including the fire department, police department, and EMS.
Looks like the painters are represented here with paint stirrers and masking tape and paint brushes and scrapers and you name it. I love music and really do appreciate it and I've got to tell you guys fa la 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 is not that easy to do on a tuba. Kudos to whoever you are. Looks like the plumber's union is using toilet paper for garland. I so appreciate that. If anything, this tree should come in number two. Oh, sometimes I think is my humor really appreciated. I love the fact that an electric company used sockets and switches for ornaments. Here's a tree from the historic organ company, of course, Boardwalk Hall. The Jim Whelan Boardwalk Hall has the largest pipe organ in the world, covered on a video here on the New York Channel. Well, that was my first visit to the Festival of Trees. Very interesting. I'll probably be back next year. If you're in Atlantic City between Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's here every year. Lots more trees than I expected. 
uh, got a lot of Christmas ideas actually from those. And I like how the different unions and contractors decorated their trees. For example, the plumbers used toilet paper for a garland. Uh, the electrical companies used sockets and switches. The Hard Rock, of course, used guitars and drums. Uh, very interesting. Again, if you're in Atlantic City between Thanksgiving and Christmas, anytime, any year, just stop by here at the Jim Whelan Boardwalk Hall. I'm going to head over to resorts. I have a show that they're accompanying me tonight called uh, Modern Gentleman. Gonna check that out, gonna bring you guys along with me. That's the second half of this video, so let's go check it out. So I'm heading back to Resorts Hotel and Casino where I'm staying and behind me is Hook and the restaurant Super Frico. I have to tell you the smells coming out of Super Frico are awesome. It's making me extremely hungry. Gonna have to eat there soon. So here we are back at resorts and uh, passing Super Frico made me super hungry so uh, I don't have time for a steak, uh, although that's what I'd really like right now. Uh, the show starts at 8 so I'm going to settle for something second best, a burger at Ruby's Dinette. That'll uh, do the trick, it'll fill me up, it'll be quick and uh, it's right here in the hotel where the show is. But before I do that, a quick stop at the box office to pick up those tickets. A lot of people seem to overlook Ruby's Dinette or they don't ever eat there and uh, I think that's a shame. It reminds me a lot of Johnny Rockets, only they're not as famous as Johnny's. The food is tasty, substantial, you get your money's worth if you ask me. The prices are pretty reasonable. Uh, the menu is pretty varied too. I usually get a burger here but I've gotten fish and chips here, I've gotten a hot dog here. I might have even gotten a cold sub here, I'm, I don't remember, but like I said, the menu is pretty much all over the place and it's all good. Today I'm ordering the Cowboy Burger, which is a uh, cheddar cheeseburger with uh, tomato, lettuce, let's see, there's onion rings on here as well as bacon and that tangy barbecue sauce. I think there's some sauteed onions on this as well. This burger looks pretty hefty and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to make me sleepy. It's been a long hard day of work here in Atlantic City and uh, I hope I don't fall asleep during the show but from what I understand it's a decent show so I probably won't. Yeah, it's really good and it's cooked perfectly and nice and juicy. I've been on a pretty tight schedule all holiday season so my uh, latest Jersey Jeff Eats video, my other channel, was also from here at Resorts. It was upstairs at Doggedy's Steakhouse. Uh, I stopped off there for a late night happy hour meal. If you haven't checked that video out, check it out. As you go through these doorways, you have the Superstar Theater on the left and the huge ocean ballroom. They have a huge ballroom here at Resorts is on the right. The ballroom overlooks the boardwalk and ocean. It's very nice. You'll also find those celebrity sidewalks that I've talked about in previous videos uh, right here. Uh, different celebrities that have appeared at the Superstar Theater in the past. Uh, these sidewalks used to be outside. They were bought inside years ago. Uh, there's a couple downstairs as well. And from what I understand, some of them didn't take well to being moved and were damaged. And they're hidden somewhere in this building. I've been told recently there's lots of memorabilia somewhere in this building going way back to the uh, days when Merv Griffin owned the place. It was the first hotel in casino outside of Nevada back in the 70s. I finished my burger downstairs and got here pretty early so it looks empty but it does fill up nicely before the show begins. Shh, it's about to begin. Love me too. 
Honestly, I didn't know too much about The Modern Gentleman. Actually, I didn't know anything about The Modern Gentleman until I saw the show, but they've, uh, they're have they pretty much well-known around the world, and they've shared the stage with lots of A-listers, including Frankie Valli, The Beach Boys, The Manhattan Transfer, Smokey Robinson, uh, Sheena Easton. They performed for uh, presidents in the United States. They've performed for Prince William over at the uh, esteemed arts club in London, Michael McDonald, Patti LaBelle, John Williams... Not only have they been all around the world, but they've done limited engagements on Broadway right here in Atlantic City as well as Las Vegas. What I'll do here is I'll show you some of their standard hits and then close out this video with their Christmas songs. Resorts Hotel and Casino has always attracted a more older crowd, and that's something that they've always embraced. They've never shied away from it. The guys on stage even made several jokes referring to the average age of this audience. And I'm sure Resorts is well aware of the contents of this show before it began. But don't get me wrong, Resorts is a great place for anyone of any age to uh, gamble, stay, eat, be entertained. And right now the comps are incredible. I just had a free meal downstairs right before my free show. Uh, Upstairs in my free room for two nights I have a free bottle of vodka. And tonight I plan on using some of my free play in the casino. You see where I'm coming from here. I almost feel like I'm back on a cruise ship. All that and right outside the doors here of the Superstar Theater is a hallway that connects it directly to the Hard Rock. Alright, let's check out some of their Christmas songs, and they even have one or two Christmas videos as well. Hey guys, thanks so much for all the positive feedback on these holiday videos this year. Uh, it seems to be getting bigger and bigger every year that I do this, and it started with the uh, best decorated hotel and casino in town, then we went on to Smithville, we did the uh, parade here in Atlantic City, then we did the uh, inns down at Cape May, and now this show. I had a blast doing it, and I think you guys enjoyed doing it, judging from your comments. I was going to make this the last holiday video of the year, and uh, I decided maybe I'll do a compilation video of everything that I've done this year as far as the holidays with some nice music in the background. That'll probably come out hopefully this weekend or maybe even Christmas, so uh, we'll see what happens. I think I can put that together pretty quickly, seeing that as it'll be a uh, compilation video. And always remember, if you want to support the New York channel, just click on that thanks button underneath any of my videos. I do appreciate your support. Click on that button and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. Happy holidays, guys. Once again.
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like, comment, ask some questions and most importantly subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.